Our next VIP guest joining us is Mr. Rahim Kassam. He is a, yeah. He was born in London, England, and is a conservative British political activist, a former editor-in-chief of Breitbart News, uh, London, and former chief advisor to former UK Independence Party, the UKIP, leader, Nigel Farage. He previously co-hosted the War Room Impeachment with Mr. Stephen K. Bannon, and he's now the editor-in-chief of the National Pulse. 我们下一位需要出现的贵宾是出生于英国伦敦是一位保守派英国政治活动家他之前曾与Stephen K. Bannon先生共同主持战斗室 现在是The National Post的主编 女士们先生们我很高兴向你们介绍 Mr. Rahim Kassam Rahim Kassam My fiancé will tell you you're going to give me too big a head if you keep applauding like that. But thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for having me. And no thank you, no thank you to Luda, because how can I follow that? How do I follow Luda? All right? Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. What else is amazing is this crowd, is this audience is you guys wow me every single day. Every single day. When I follow the live chat during war room pandemic, all the messages you flood in, you guys are the heroes. You guys are the champions. You guys are going to free China. And you are going to help us free the Western world from the tyranny that we are experiencing right now. Can we take a second to think about what President Donald J. Trump said today? Because you have a communist party in China that is morally bankrupt. And Donald J. Trump today has said, we want $10 trillion in reparations from the Chinese Communist Party. The party, not the country, the party, if it wants to be morally bankrupt, it should be financially bankrupt as well. One of the things that really interests me about the the narrative that we get from the mainstream media at the moment is, have you guys seen this, the uh, hashtag stop Asian hate? You seen this? Hashtag stop Asian hate. And the charge is, of course, that white supremacists are beating up Asian Americans on the streets every day. That's the charge. That's the claim. Thank you. Said it better than I could. That's the charge. You know, especially on, a, on an anniversary like today, if the Biden regime and the corporate media establishment were genuinely serious about hashtag stop Asian hate. You know where the predominancy of the Asian hate in the world comes from? It's the Chinese Communist Party. Against its own people. Against the people yearning to be free. You know, maybe, maybe, we have some, maybe we have some fake news media in the room. I don't know. Maybe we, maybe we do. And maybe we need to look them dead in the eye and say, if you really, truly believe... I don't know if anybody goes by the AAPI thing, by the way. I'm not sure that anybody... I think this is another confection of the media's mind. But if they really, truly want to stop Asian hate, how about staring the devil of the Chinese Communist Party in the face and telling the truth about where this virus came from and where the tyranny in the world is emanating from. There is no better reporter in the world on this, by the way, than my colleague Natalie Winters, who's sitting in front of us here. And every single day, every single day, 
we expose more and more and more about how the CCP has ingrained itself in the media establishment, in the political establishment, in the academic establishment. And let me promise to you from this stage something right here. We will never, ever stop exposing them. You know who is propagating Asian hate and who is racist? Is, is that, well, hold on. It's the CCP, but it's also the people who are saying, yeah, you know what? Those dirty Chinese people are eating bat soups and infecting the world. Again, another bullshit to quote you claim. Right? Right? This is, this is real racism that we're hearing. This is real nonsense that we're hearing. Yeah, the, the virus came from a bowl of soup. And this is why hundreds of thousands of people around the world are dead. And why trillions of dollars are wiped off the economy. Let's get something straight and let's get it clear. And we know it from Fauci's emails. This is the single greatest cover-up in human history. And Dr. Anthony Fauci is at the head of that cover-up. I love, I love the audience engagement. I have zero minutes left. So I will leave you with this one thing. It's perfect timing, by the way. I will leave you with this one thing. I said at the beginning of my long meandering speech that um, you are my inspiration. I look out into the faces in this audience and that's where I get my inspiration from. That's where I wake up every morning and I want to report the news and I want to tell the truth and I want to get to the bottom of all of what's going on and what's not just keeping the great Chinese people under the thumb of tyranny, but that is increasingly keeping the most free nation in the world under the same things. And let me tell you something, you all in this room, you epitomize, you embody, and I say this as a Brit, so I'm not being an American jingoist here, you embody the 1776 spirit. What you're doing in this room is the same thing that the founding fathers of the United States did. You embody the blitz spirit. What my fellow countrymen did to beat off the National Socialist Party of Germany. And given who one of our next speakers is, I want to say this, given how sacred a ground we are standing on right now, you embody the Giuliani spirit. I, I, I stood in a different tower than this in September of 2000 as a 14-year-old boy and it was my first trip to New York and I looked out the windows and I was just, uh, stu- you know, what else can you be but stunned? And what else could you be but shocked and disgusted than what happened a year later? And the man that led America through that pain, through that tragedy, led the world. I believe my own Her Majesty the Queen honoured Mayor Rudy Giuliani. That is the spirit that we all need to draw on. We were incredibly, incredibly honoured to name Mayor Giuliani as our National Pulse Patriot of the Year last year. And let me tell you something, Mayor Giuliani, you keep up the way you are, you will be the first person to get it two years running. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you. Enjoy your evening. Thank you for having us. And if I may do a little quick plug, thenationalpulse.com, we are with you every step of the way. Thank you. Thank you so much, Raheem.